Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are going to study about the power of the Word of God. The power that the Word of God exercises upon our life. You see, the Bible makes us understand that the Word of God is Jesus Christ himself written to holy men through the prophecies that God gave them. John chapter 1 verse 1 through 5 makes us understand that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So in the beginning was the Word, and the Word of God itself was with God, the Father, with Big G. And the Word itself was also God. So you see, so the letter or the Bible that we hold, the words that have been inscribed in the Bible is actually the voice of God that were written. So, which is in the person of Jesus Christ written within the tablets which now have been produced into Bibles. And it is called Logos, which is the written word. So, the word of God itself is Jesus Christ. Okay? And the Bible says that the Word was with God the Father, with capital G. And the Word itself was also God in the person of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, John 1 verse 2, the same was in the beginning, he or the Word with God. And all things were made through him, the Word, in the person of Jesus Christ. And without him was nothing made that had been made. So nothing was made without Jesus Christ. Nothing was made without the Logos, without the Rima, the Word. Because the Word itself is Jesus Christ and the Word can create. The Word can create. The Word gives life. The word is called inspired word of God. It gives inspiration. It can cause the dead to be alive again. It can change situation. The word of God itself can save somebody from the kingdom of darkness. Verse number three. All things were made through him, Jesus Christ, who was the word and who is the word. And the Bible says that nothing was made without he, Jesus Christ. He said nothing was, was not, he said without him was nothing made that had been made. Verse 4, in him was life. So the word of God in the person of Jesus Christ carries life. In him was life and the life was the light of men. Okay, so the word of God carries life in the person of Jesus Christ. Just the written word, once it becomes this rima, it gives life. And this life also can bring out of it, we get light. Because as human beings, we need light. The world is dark because of sin, because, the, because of the fallen nature of Adam. The Bible makes us understand that there is the works of darkness. So as men, every one of us, whether you have been born again, you have received Jesus as your personal savior or not, every one of us need light because there's a portion in the scriptures that says light is good. Light brings life to us. In him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness could not comprehend it, which is John chapter number one, verse one through five. God bless you. I will continue from here.